Amazing, this is a good optocoupler. Remember, the first step to test any optocoupler is first to locate the pin number one. Always the pin number one, you will find a triangle like this one. A white triangle means this is the pin number one and this is the pin number two. This is the input side. Welcome to the episode number 18, where I'm going to teach you how to test one of the most difficult and important component in electronics, opto isolator or optocoupler. So guys, testing optocoupler is not easy, but here in electronic repair basics, everything will be easy. So it looks like a black IC, but inside it, it's a tiny LED and a sensor talking to each other without a wire. This tiny component can isolate entire power circuits. So guys, of course, as always, we're gonna see two parts, a theory part and a practical part where I'm going to test this component, the optocoupler using the multimeter step by step. But please do not neglect the theory part because it is the most important part in this kind of difficult component. So an optocoupler or optoisolator is a device that transfers signal using light, not electricity. It keeps the input side completely electrically isolated from the output. So inside it we find LED for light or we can see a phototransistor or photodiodes. So in the input we have low voltage and output a high voltage. We get a high voltage switching. So guys, the opto isolator or optocoupler used for safe communication between two voltage sections. No, I have a question. Where optocouplers are used? So please note, optocouplers are used in switch mode power supplies (ACMPS). Microcontrollers inputs, inverter circuits, AC to DC isolated interface, like this kind of board, and Arduino isolation from 200 to a volt. So to summarize, they are used where two systems need to talk but never touch. So guys, I have a question now, how to identify optocouplers? So the optocouplers, as you can see, has four terminals. They often look like four pin or six pin IC because sometimes you can find a six pin optocoupler. And even we have here IC, as you can see. Now guys, let's pass to practical part, how to test an optocoupler with a multimeter. So please pay attention. Here you will find always the pin number one is marked with a triangle like this one or a white mark so this is the pin number one pin number two pin number three and pin number four please before diving into the course we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video pcb way pcb way offers many services ranging from pcb production and assembly to 3d printing and a variety of materials CNC machining, sheet metals fabrication, injection molding, and more. PCB Way makes it easy to get custom parts for your project. And if you don't like to work a lot with a soldering iron, they can even assemble your PCBs for you. That's the PCB Way. Now back to the video. So, guys, to test the optocoupler, I will make it easy for you. For the optocoupler, as I told you, this is the pin number one. Why? Because this triangle or this white mark means always this is the pin number one, pin number two, pin number three, and pin number four. So remember, this is the first step to test any optocoupler. Identify the pins. So pin number one and pin number two are the input sides where we have the LED. Pin number 3 and pin number 4 is the output side where we have the phototransistor. 
Okay, now we identify the pins. Let's now move on to the second step to test the LED, the input side. So guys, to test the LED, we have to use the diode mode. So remember, the red probe on the pin number one, okay? The black probe on pin number two, we should get a reading about 500, 600, 700. This is good, the LED is good. But if you get a short like this, means the diode is shorted. Or if you get open like this, one or OL open line, means the diode is dead, is broken. You have to get this reading about 500 or 0 0.5, 0 0.6 drop voltage. Let's pass move on to the second step to test the transistor in the output side. So it's easy, here we have emitter and collector. So the red probe in the pin number three, the black probe in the pin number four, as you can see, we get a diode drop voltage, a diode, a diode reading, about 400. But if we swap the probe, we should not get anything. Okay, this is good. So the transistor is good. And if you get a short like this, means the transistor is shorted. Or if you get in this side, up line means broken transistor. So for this optocoupler, it's a good optocoupler. Let's see another one. So guys, as you can see, we have here another optocoupler. You will find it usually near to the transformer. So first, let's locate the pin number one. Here is the pin number one. As you can see, we have this black color or sometimes white color, sometimes triangle. So this is the pin number one, two, three, four. So the red probe in the pin number one, black probe in pin number two, we get a reading. Good. Let's go now to the output side. So the red probe in pin number three, the black probe in pin number four. Let's see. No reading. Let's swap the probes. Now the black probe here, the red probe here. No reading. In this case, what? This is a broken optocoupler. This optocoupler, guys, is broken. We have to replace it with another optocoupler with the same reference, as you can see here. And of course, in this case, the optocoupler should be desoldered and check it out outside the board. So guys, for 4-pin optocoupler, this is basically it simple. Please remember, in this side, always we have the diode, okay? This is the diode and here always we have the pin number one, here we have the pin number two, okay? Always the pin number one, you will find it marked with a triangle like this one. And in this side, of course, we have the photo transistor, as you can see. So here we have the pin number three and over here we have pin number four. So the optocoupler is not connected. It is not electrically connected. That's why it is safe. We use it between two systems or two circuits. Okay, system one and here we have system two. So the pin number one, always one is for the anode, two for cathode, three here, this is basically emitter, and four, of course, the collector. And this diode, it's not a normal diode, this is a light emitting diode. So it emits the diode to activate the base of this transistor. Guys, there is another optocoupler, a six pin basically optocoupler. And this is its symbol, the same symbol, but very different. Here always we have the pin number one. So we have a photo diode here. Okay, here we have pin number two and over here we have pin number one. Over here we have pin number three. Okay, this pin number three is NC, not connected. Usually you will find it not connected. And in this side, of course, we have the photo transistor. Okay, pin number four. Let's see here pin number five. Okay, and here pin number six. So the same working principle 
and of course same times we find that the pin number six is usually also not connected so we gonna dive in into this kind of optocopper in a separate video so guys thank you very much i hope that you understand this video please for anyone who want to thank me the best way to say thank you for me is by liking and sharing the video and don't forget please our goal and our purpose is to reach 1000 component testing so please Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon because I will upload in a daily basis one different video about testing one electronic component. So thank you very much. And don't forget to tell me in the comment what is the component you suggest to test in the next video. Maybe your suggestion will be the topic for tomorrow. Thank you very much and see you with another component.